There are many types of lotus, and they can be divided into two categories, ornamental and edible. Most of the lotus plants are native to tropical regions of Asia. Lotus is a perennial emergent herbaceous plant belonging to the genus Nymphiaceae. Its sludge and unstained character is always praised by the world. The lotus has a strong ability to adapt to the growth environment. It not only growing in lakes and ponds, but even in small pots and bowls, it can also grow very well. The lotus is the national flower of India. India is the birthplace of Buddhism and therefore, the lotus and the Buddha are connected to each other. Buddha is said to have been born in the heart of a lotus and is often represented sitting either on a flower or floating on its leaf. Buddhist temples display lotus for protection and love and the scent is said to have the power to guard whoever breathes it. I would love to share with you some of the species that commonly grow by people. This type of lotus is having many different colors. This variety of lotus can shines and ignites the enthusiasm of a season. The flower of this lotus is deep purple in warm weather and will turn pink in cold weather. The graceful Guanyin lotus is a very special tropical flower. The edge of the leaf is jagged, the surface of the leaf is green, with small light brown spots, and the back of the leaf is flushed. The leaf ears cover each other, with eight green leaf-like sepals. Egyptian lotus, botanical name, Nymphaea carulia savigny, is a perennial aquatic herb with round or ovoid floating leaves, and the submerged leaves are thin and fragile. The flowers are fragrant. Egyptian lotus like a hot, humid, and sunny environment. Although the name contains Egypt, they are actually native to North Africa and Mexico. In ancient Egyptian mythology, the sun was born from the blooming of lotus flowers, and the lotus was regarded as the sacred flower. The flower then became a totem on the pillars of ancient Egyptian temples that symbolizing the blessing of, there is only beginning, not disillusionment. The most ornamental lotus species is Thousand Petal Lotus. It is a rare ornamental plant in the Nymphiaceae family. It blooms in midsummer every year and the flowering period lasts as long as three months. After careful cultivation by experts, now there are many precious species available after various researches and cultivation did by different experts. Thousand Petal Lotus is a Buddhist sacred plant, which has been used by Buddhists at least 1,500 years ago. This variety is very expensive. Its petals will grow and fall at the same time. Each flower of Thousand Petal Lotus has 1,000 petals, some can even have up to 4,500 petals. Thousand Petal Lotus can produce two flowers with one stem, and each flower has a stalk. The stalks are connected together on the flower stem. It is a treasure flower for people and many are regarding the double lotus as a sign of auspiciousness and joy, and also the embodiment of kindness and beauty. The sacred lotus, botanical name, Nalumba nucifera, is also a species of lotus. It is one of the oldest lotus and also one of the earliest angiosperms of its origin. This flower has been planted as early as a thousand years ago. It is one of the most beautiful flowers in the world and is held in high esteem in the East. Lotus legends abound. One description has it as the womb of creation. From its blossom the creative aspect of God, Brahma, came forth. The lotus grows in shallow water and the fact it produces such stunning flowers from the mud, suggests both purity and immortality. A symbol of beauty in the Orient. Wild white summer snow lotus mainly grows in swamp areas, so this plant has high requirements for the humidity in the growing environment. The origin area of the white summer snow lotus was in the central and southern regions of Europe, Romania, and western Russia. Domestic white summer snow lotus is mostly grown by hydroponics. If you want to grow them with soil, you need to water them frequently to maintain a moist and cool environment. White summer snow lotus can represent purity because the flower color is white and is pollution-free. This gives people a very elegant and holy feeling. You can also plant white summer snow lotus in a pot and place it indoors. This can provide a good decoration for your home and purify the air at the same time. The American Lotus, botanical name, Nalumba lutea, commonly grows in lakes, swamps, and flooded areas. You can find them in Florida, Texas, North Massachusetts, New York, Minnesota, Iowa, Ontario, 
Canada, Mexico, West Indies, Cuba, Jamaica, and Hispaniola, and Central America, Honduras. The American lotus is often crossed with other lotus and producing many hybrids. The seeds can be propagated by cutting the seed coat at the tip of the seed and soaking in water, or by dividing the rhizome. Native Americans treat the lotus root of the plant as food, which is called, macopin, in Miami, Illinois. The distribution area of the American lotus is expanding to the northern United States, because the Native Americans used this plant as food, and they may have propagated the plant to the northern United States. In Vietnam, the image of the lotus is almost everywhere, and there are blooming lotus and lotus patterns and shapes everywhere. This is true from the people at the bottom to the emperor. The Vietnamese lotus is pure, simple, and fragrant. Lotus is closely related to the lives of the Vietnamese. In summer, the sun is shining, the lotus leaves can shade, and the lotus leaves can be folded like an umbrella on rainy days. For working people, the lotus leaf has many uses. It can be used to contain food and take it to the farming fields. Lotus is an indispensable subject matter in Vietnamese folk songs and proverbs. The lotus flower is a symbol of love. It is used as a metaphor for lovers who are shy to express their love. Mexican Lotus, botanical name, Nymphaea mexicana zuc, is a perennial aquatic herb with thick rhizomes. The floating leaves are round or oval while the base is curved, heart-shaped, or arrow-shaped. The submerged leaves are thin and fragile. The flower is large, beautiful, and floating above the water. The petals are in multiple rounds with the shape of a carpal ring. It will semi-submerged in a fleshy cup-shaped receptacle and partially connect with the lower part. The upper part is concave into the stigma disc, the ovule is inverted, and hangs down on the inner wall of the ovary. The berry is spongy, irregularly cracked, and matures under the water. The seed is hard and is wrapped in gum. The Mexican lotus is flowering in August each year and they are beautiful for viewing. The flower represents cleanness, innocent, and glamorous. Anyone born under the blessing of this flower is born with an irresistible charm for people. Most of Chromatella lotus, botanical name, Nymphaea tetragona, flowers are native to tropical regions of North Africa and Southeast Asia, and a few are produced in the temperate and frigid regions of South Africa, Europe, and Asia, Japan, Korea, India, the former Soviet Union, Siberia, Europe, and the United States. Chromartilla lotus is a perennial herb with nearly round and paper-like leaves. The leaves are deep bend at the base, nearly parallel or spreading, and full or wavy. The stem is a creeping rhizome. The fruit is a berry with a flat to hemispherical shape or an oval seed. The flowering period for Chromatella lotus is from June to August, and the bare fruit period is from August to October. Chromartilla lotus loves to grow in places with sufficient sunlight, good ventilation, and soil that is rich in organic material. Hardy lotus that bloom during the day will shut at night and bloom again in the morning. A pond with a shade of trees on the shore is ideal for the plant. The plant is not harsh on soil quality, as long as the pH value is between 6 to 8 and the soil is rich with organic material, it can grow nicely. The ideal water depth is 25 to 30 centimeters, and the deepest must not exceed 80 centimeters. Hardy lotus is commonly planted in small, medium, or large ponds. One of its outstanding features is that the flowers can continue to bloom until late in the afternoon. Since its flowers can continue to bloom until the afternoon. The Masaniello lotus, botanical name, Nymphaea, Masaniello, flower opens in the morning and shuts in the afternoon. The Masaniello lotus symbolizes purity. These plants usually grow in the clear water, standing tall and slim. When you take a look from a distance, it is like a lovely girl. When you touch it lightly, it will shut it off immediately. This symbolizes the sacred, clean and inviolable of the plant. Blue Star Lotus, botanical name, Nymphaea nucal, is also called blue water lily, or by its synonym Nymphaea stellata. It is a genus Nymphaea lotus. The plant is originated from Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India, and Australia. It has been long valued as a garden flower in Myanmar and Thailand as a great decoration for garden ponds. 
The roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and seeds of this flower can be used as medicine. You can soak yourself with the flowers in water for 24 hours, which can eliminate all kinds of poisons from the body. The blue lotus is a symbol of eternal love. Just like its blue-purple flower color, it represents the eternal and long-lasting meaning. Its long floral fragrance seems to be able to stay in people's hearts for a long, long time. People like to give the blue lotus to the one they like, expressing the hope that love and beauty will last forever. This type of lotus is known as Colorado Lotus or Nymphia Colorado. The flower opens in the morning and shuts in the afternoon. The flowering period for the individual flower is 3 to 4 days, and the group flowering period is from early June to early November. The flowers are orange-yellow in color while the plants are at low temperature, and the color will turn to orange-red while the temperature is high. The flower is star-shaped and the leaves are round. The surface of the leaf is green, and the edge of the back leaf is slightly flushed. It is suitable to be planted at a water depth of 45 to 90 centimeters. The Colorado Lotus symbolizes freedom. The plant itself contains a spirit that is extremely eager to pursue freedom. It is able to face any obstacles. This spirit has always encouraged people to face difficulties bravely and try to solve them. The flower can imply people face their lives positively and optimistically. Helvola Lotus, botanical name, Nymphaea pygmaea helvola, is a perennial aquatic herb. The Helvola Lotus symbolizes wisdom. According to legend, a monk struggled to find a lotus that never faded on a mountain. After many years of struggling, finally he has found the Helvola Lotus. Unfortunately, the flower was already withered. But the monk realized the truth even though he found a withered flower, as long as there is a flower in the heart, it will never wither. King Lotus is a famous water-viewing plant. It is also one of the largest aquatic plants in the world. The plant was found by a German botanist in 1801 in a tributary of the Amazon River. King Lotus likes to live in the fertile swamp where the sludge in the cultivation pool cannot exceed 50 centimeters. The depth of the water depth should not exceed 1 meter. Regular fertilization is required when planting king lotus and top dressing is required 1 to 2 times during the leaf growth and flowering period. Only taking care of king lotus in this way can ensure the plant grows up healthily and holding heavy objects. So don't think the king lotus that you plant in your pond is strong enough to hold you up and you try to sit on it. Otherwise, it will be embarrassing if it makes you fall into the water.